Welcome to the Breakfast Leadership Show, where we interview global thought leaders on business, leadership, and life. Here's your host, keynote speaker, best-selling author, and chief burnout officer of the Breakfast Leadership Network, Michael Levitt. Welcome back. I've got Jonathan White on the line. Jonathan, how are you? I'm doing well, Michael. Thank you for having me here today. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. It's really beneficial to our entrepreneurs that are listening to the show and everybody, but entrepreneurs in particular. So why don't you share a little bit about you and then we'll dive into this conversation. Awesome, man. Yeah. So uh, I run the company called T3 Body. So T3 Body is a highly customized solution when it comes to health, fitness, wellness, uh, what we do differently than the marketplace currently is we do a full blood work analysis before we start any type of nutritional or training program with all our clients. This helps us to understand exactly what types of foods we're supposed to be consuming, potential supplementation, and sometimes some exercise prescription. And then what we do is called a biomechanics assessment and then biofeedback. So those are just fancy words for uh, really customizing everything to the degree uh, for our type of audience. You know, entrepreneurs have different stresses that are on them on a day-to-day basis responsibilities. Um, so this the solution for them cannot be uh, similar to everybody else in the marketplace. So where we come in is we give them all the, the assets, uh, the education, the accountability, and the coaching uh, to help them to optimize their fitness, which in turn helps everything else grow as well. Yeah, it's spot on because you know, a couple of years ago, I had a food intolerance test done and I was tested on over 250 types of foods. And there were some foods that I was completely shocked that bothered me. And once I eliminated those from my diet, my energy levels felt better. I slept better. My my attention spans were better. It's The food is fuel. And every entrepreneur, I don't want to say every, but many of us, one of the things we do is because we're in the grind and we're working and sometimes we put in some insane hours, uh, our food choices tend to be an afterthought. And we're like, oh, I'm just going to quickly do this. And they eat something. And what does it do? It just drags them down even more to the point where they have no energy and their work becomes even harder. They, you know, I, I don't want to say they'd be better off not eating it, but in many cases, depending on what they ate, they might have been, you know, it's better to starve than to eat that because you'll you'll probably be at least uh, a little bit more productive. You'll be hungry, but uh, you won't be completely drained and, and and wiped out. And we see it all the time too, where people will have that mid-afternoon lull and they go, okay, well, let's load up on some kind of a energy drink or a coffee or something like that, which just gets your body, you know, all over the place. It's like a roller coaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that actually reminds me of a story uh, from a client that I was working with who was an entrepreneur, uh, ran a marketing agency. So he was uh, advertising for for businesses. And he kept hitting this mid-afternoon crash where he just had to take a nap. And he had no idea why he was tired. He was still a younger guy. He wasn't like, like in his late 50s yet. Uh, he was actually in his early 40s. And he he was so concerned as why he gets so tired after this mid-afternoon. He tried many different things. And with one simple blood test, we were able to identify it wasn't exactly something that was extremely off with his blood work, but just the timing of his nutrition. So what I had him do was actually fast until noon, backload his carbohydrates as opposed to eating them earlier throughout the day because that releases serotonin, which makes you tired. And he just had fats and protein. He was able to see a tremendous difference in how he felt on a day-to-day basis. The afternoon naps went away and his performance went up. Now, as entrepreneurs and executives or or your CEOs of a company, think about how much more your, your business or your company would grow if your energy level is better, if your mental and cognitive function is better, and if you just feel better day to day, you're going to make better choices, better decisions, which is ultimately going to help to grow your business. So it's the way I think of it is like it's an amplification to help you better at what you are uh, pursuing, uh, which is your business growth and sometimes personal development growth too as well. Yeah, it makes a ton of sense because you know the fuel that we put in ourselves is going to drive how well we perform. And making simple adjustments and it's not like this dramatic change for people it's like okay let's let's shift we're going to have you eat a little bit later we're going to have you focus on these types of foods in the morning afternoon this and all of a sudden exactly. they're they're like a completely different person and that attention span and you know, their cognitive abilities dramatically improve which means they're going to see pitfalls and opportunities 
so much clearer than they would have if they would continue down the path of you know eating that bagel for breakfast or you know loading up on the carbs in the morning and like you said in that particular client's case you know mid afternoon their body's going it's it's nappy time and you know it's <laughs> like okay that's that's great when you're in kindergarten maybe because the teacher just needs a break you know mm -hmm. so that's why they feed the kids there which you know don't get me started on nutrition for kids but it, it starts from day one okay let's you know focus on that that's why uh, it's so important for nutrition and all that so what, what got you into the business what you know what motivated you to do this line of work yeah, you know, I, I kind of stumbled my way coincidentally, you know, while I was at Michigan State University, I used to not enjoy exercise, not enjoy working out. Um, but after I got done with, you know, playing sports, playing basketball, I needed another competitive outlet. And, you know, I found my way into bodybuilding originally. I turned pro at 22, which made me the youngest person to do so. Then eventually powerlifting. But doing that, I got, you know, it taught me a lot of lessons. I mean, for one, if you want to do this stuff correctly, you have to be process oriented. You have to be really calculated and uh, really strategic in how you approach things. And you also have to hold yourself accountable. These are all really great, whether it be character traits and skill sets that you take to any other area of life and you're going to excel. So I, I found my way doing this. And then I moved out to Los Angeles. And that's when I really started to work with, you know, actors, celebrities, executives in, the, in that group. And I learned a lot about their lifestyle, a lot about their day to day, a lot about their mindset. Um, and we instantly clicked, you know, because I'm an extremely type A person, competitive, assertive, you know, so like that taking, you know, what I do in the fitness and helping them to excel in fitness because it's been consistently an area that they may have struggled in. Was it how we kind of found this this marriage and this perfect relationship? Because they kind of found their their mirror self, but in a different industry. That's great. East Lansing definitely taught you well. I'm I'm originally from Motown, so I'm familiar <laughs> with uh, with Sparty and a lot of friends went there, so uh, it, it's good. But yeah, the fact I, I love the fact that how you went to L.A. and started working with. In LA has some extremely high profile individuals, not yeah, only just in acting, but executives, big corporate and things like that. And yeah, their mindset and how they approach things and even their day to day is dramatically different than many of the nine to fivers, you know, out there and uh, how they approach things. And, you know, they, they need to be at their best because if they're an actor, yeah, they they could be filming at three o'clock in the morning. It's you know those directors are a little crazy sometimes, and it's like okay, we're gonna get through this scene and like you know take four hundred twelve. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I work but, with a few directors too. Yeah, for sure, they're 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 intense. Yeah, they are, they are. But you know what? It 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 generates millions and billions for the box office. So uh, there's a reason for it, and they're successful. But it, you know, it's it's great. So what I always ask you know, this quite a question. Okay, what what drove you to L.A. was just an opportunity or like you know what um, i'm sick and tired of uh, midwestern weather and although you guys had snow in la not too long ago so i was like, I'm like what in the world's going on I, I i literally i saw a picture i think it was lauren holly the actress he posted a picture of the hollywood sign in the mountains fine, yeah. behind there were completely covered in snow and i'm like that i don't think that's photoshopped that's a little <laughs> weird but uh but what you know what drove you out to la yeah, it was opportunity. I mean, not much really goes on in Michigan when it comes to to fitness or even industry, right? So LA is kind of the land of opportunity, at least it wants to. I, I've since moved to Scottsdale, Arizona, but um, Los Angeles, when it came to fitness, when it came to being around like-minded individuals, people who were pursuing excellence, I knew in order for me to do something great, I had to surround myself with great people. Uh, nothing against folks from Michigan, you know, but it, it, once you, if you're in that, you know, type of environment long enough, you kind of just get into the routine of things and you kind of drift a little bit and you wake up one day and you're 50 and you're not in the greatest shape and you know life isn't that that beautiful so um i wanted to be somewhere where i was where i was forced to be competitive where i was forced to be around other like-minded and uh, other great individuals with no matter the industry um just because that energy would feed off of each other and we could push each other to excellence that's a great analogy and yes having come from the great lake state i i can completely understand where you're coming from that i i moved away from there in the mid 90s and then i had a basically a cup of coffee for about 18 months uh in the early 2000s and and remembered why i i moved away um again nothing i got i got family and friends still back there and but i i get it it's you, you are who you hang out with and you know the, and you know you know what it's like there and when i go back to visit i look and i go 
nothing's changed. And yeah, yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> it is. It's like literally, it's like, a. I mean, yeah, buildings might look a little bit different and you go downtown Detroit and yeah, that, that's been, you know, built up a bit, but mm-hmm. you go in the other areas and other than maybe some buildings, you just kind of look around. It's like, uh, you kind of feel like you went into a time warp and you're like, oh, it's still kind of the same here. Okay. And, and you know, potholes and everything else, but no, you know, the real, you know, just segue, you know, Arizona is one of those states that is really, really booming and has for a while, but there's a lot of opportunities in that state too. And you, you still get the nice warm weather. You're, you're close to the coast if you need to be, and it's a great place to be. And if you need to pop over to LA, it's not a long flight. So that's, that's great. So where, where do you see things? And this is a question because over the last few years, it's been a little bit wonky with COVID and all the other challenges that we're seeing in the world these days. You know, what are some things and maybe some words of encouragement you can provide entrepreneurs that want to go on this journey and, you know, really start taking better care of their whole self? Because it really does. It's, it's their whole self when you uh, take better care of yourself and for, through nutrition, through activity and exercise and everything else. But what are some words of advice you'd give people, especially as they're navigating through these really challenging times that we're in right now? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Um, I would first encourage them to identify the why. Like, why is the reason why they want to get fitter? Why is the reason why they want to get healthier? Like, and understand like what's at stake and then what's to be captured if you accomplish this goal. And then from there, let's start off with just some basic things. Maybe opposed to going out and eating five days a week, let's just cut it down to three. Opposed to having drinks, you know, you know, four times a week, let's cut it down to two. Let's start to go on daily walks. Um, let's, let's get in like 5,000 steps per day. Let's just like start there, just doing some bare minimum lifestyle changes where you're not feeling deprived, but you're going to see some type of results to build some momentum. And then from that point, we can get a little bit more, um, dialed in. Um, and then, you know, with maybe going to the gym and starting to get some exercise and, uh, maybe starting to structure nutrition a little bit differently, understanding like what is a protein? What is a carb? What is a fat? Uh, and then, you know, we could take it up to the next level and then you can come see us and get some blood work done and we can really dial things in. But the, it first starts with the first step. And that's usually the hardest thing for people, um, is getting that first step. But I promise you, if you take it, um, it's going to take you much further than what you ever anticipated. As long as you just stay committed to the process. It's critically important. And one of the things that I do and the advice that I give, because I work with people that are burning out and stress and workplace cultures and all of that. And during the pandemic, when everyone was sent home and they weren't getting in a whole lot of activity because they were more or less quarantining because a lot of things were closed. You really couldn't go anywhere uh, easily anyway. And my concern for people was, okay, you're not getting activity in. So, Unless you have a dog, at least you had that. If you had a dog, you're you're going to go outside and you're going to walk around, which is good. So I, I, you know, we saw a lot of people get dogs during the pandemic. But mm-hmm. my concern was that they weren't getting anywhere near the amount of activity they were before, because even if they were in an office type setting, you you would drive, you'd get in your car, you'd drive to work, you'd walk around the office, you'd walk to go get coffee, you'd walk to get lunch. You, you're constantly moving, but when we were all sent home. You know, our commute to the couch, to the kitchen, to the bathroom and the bedroom. My feet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless, unless you're in a big mansion and then, you know, then you're getting a few more steps in. But for most of us, that there's not a lot of commuting there. So I told people, go outside, just start, you know, just go outside and walk maybe around your house or maybe just on one side of the house. And then you can go back in and they mm-hmm. walk out and they're like, and many times some people say, I felt silly just going out and just walking for a minute. So I, I, I did 10. I'm like, that's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. You know, now build that up and go maybe 11 minutes or 12 minutes next week. And then you know, the, the way that you did it is, is spot on. You get in that habit. Um, because when I started my walking routine years and years ago, you know, it was a case of, all right, I'm just going to go for five minutes. And I was like, five minutes felt silly. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. Why, why am I stopping? So you just continue to do that. And now, you know, I'm easy a 5K walk every morning. It's like nice. it, rain or shine doesn't matter. I live nice and close to a, a mall. So, you know, I, I'm in there and, you know, all the, you know, senior citizens are looking at me going, why are you in here? Um, Cause it's, it's snowing and raining sideways outside. That's why I'm in here. Otherwise I'd be out there taking in yeah. nature, but it's just, 
make it part of your routine. Everyone has routines. Everyone has every day or every week they do this or this or this. It's the same thing. It's just making it part of you where it, it just becomes part of you. And mm-hmm. when you do that, again, the, the turnaround you'll see in what you produce as an entrepreneur, your family, your relationships, food tastes better. It literally does. Mm-hmm. I, when I made my changes, uh, that was the, one of the first things I noticed is, wow, I can taste food. So that what that did was it's like, okay, I don't like this food that I'm eating. It doesn't seem to be helping me. So let's try some other dishes. And let's get creative. Let's start making my own foods instead of eating out all the time. And that way you can control what's going in because you don't know what's going into the particular foods you're eating unless you unless they post the ingredients. But when you're making it, you know what's going in because you're mm-hmm. putting it in there. And again, understanding you know from the blood work and everything else, the right foods for you. It, it, it just you know, I, I sit here and I imagine if more and more people did that, the products and services that we consume on a daily basis would be better because people would be healthier and better. And they would create better things. And that's why it's so important to have people in the world like you that are out there going, you can do this. Let's just here, just a step at a time. But, you know, you take one step a day after a year, that's 365 steps. You'll be blown away what, you know, transformation you have in your life. And you'll, you'll don't be too mad at yourself, but you'll be upset yourself that you didn't start sooner. Yeah, hundred percent. And piggybacking off what you were saying with the with the walking, uh, scientifically speaking, there's been a lot of good data showing that uh, post meal walks, even if it's just for ten minutes, is just as effective as metformin and stabilizing blood glucose, so your blood sugar. So metformin is the leading medication for diabetics, and why that's important for entrepreneurs is because when you eat something and your blood sugar spikes and it comes back down, that's when you get tired. That's when you get that lag. So having a meal and then going for a 10 minute post walk will actually help to stabilize your blood sugar. So you don't have that rebound effect of it. And therefore you feel like that mid afternoon crash. Um, so, you know, that's a, that's a really important point for, for entrepreneurs and and people to, to know if you are feeling that tiredness, that sluggishness after a meal, besides looking at the contents of that meal, uh, it's probably a good idea to go for just a short brief walk afterwards because that will help you quite a bit. Definitely, definitely good stuff. So Jonathan, I love this conversation. Where can people find out more about you and all this amazing work you're doing? Yeah, the the easiest way to, to I give out tons of free content on Instagram. Uh, Coach JC White uh, is my handle on there. Uh, if you're interested in coaching, you know, there's a link in bio there. The website is t3bodytraining.com. Uh, those are the, the easiest ways to get in contact with us. Um, you know, and we, we want to just help out, you know, even if you don't end up, you know, signing up with us, the call that you would take with one of my onboarding specialists, you will get a lot of value from, uh, we are just in the the business of giving out value, um, to help as many people as we can. Um, and if you would decide to move forward us from there, we, we promise we can transform your life. That's, about, that's so awesome. I'll definitely have that in the show. So thank you so much, Jonathan, for your time today and for this important work that you're doing. It's making a big difference in the world. So thank you so much again. Thank you for so much for having me, Michael. Thanks for listening to The The Breakfast Breakfast Leadership Leadership Show, Show. part of the Breakfast Leadership Network. Visit breakfastleadership.com for tips on empowering your business and your life.